Today we're going to be installing a carbon fiber license plate backing on my C8 Corvette. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are going to be putting on a carbon fiber license plate backing plate that goes right here in the license plate area of the car. And it's, a, it's actually a very simple installation. You're really gonna be removing your license plate here, taking these two screws out. And those are already pre-drilled into the new backing plate. And then it comes with a couple rolls of uh, two-sided stick tape, which you can see I've already cheated here and I've already applied it. Um, you know, as you guys know, uh, me and sticky tape doesn't always get along. It takes for me forever to get these off. So um, when we get started on this install, I'm going to already have these off. But what we are going to do, this car is not coated with ceramic coating at this point. So I'm just going to be able to take some alcohol and, and put it here on both sides to make it stick. Now, if your car has already been ceramic coated and you don't want this to rattle because it's the, the tape is not going to stick to a ceramic coated car. So you're going to want to make sure that you use some adhesion promoter or you polish the ceramic coating off um, and, and that will make it so this will, will not vibrate when it's there. It's not going to fall off because the screws are going to hold it in place, but you, you want to make sure that you, you get your your tape here to hold it in place and then it's going to stay solid. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video now. It's going to be a real simple one, okay? Alright guys, so we've got to take the uh, license plate off, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pop, uh, pop the caps off here. And if you don't have a frame on it, it'll just be the, your screws will be exposed with the factory screws most likely. Those are Phillips. I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to take these off. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's set that down. There we go. Alright, so now I'm just going to take my alcohol swab here. And we're just going to go ahead and wipe this down. like that and then we're gonna let it dry now while it's drying I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the tape off here okay so we'll just start doing that we're gonna fast forward through this part of it guys so um, so I'll come come back and talk to you after we're done with this part of it all right so now that we got that part done, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our screw here. We can always put our license plate back on in a second, but we're gonna use our screws to be able to act as a guide here so we can put this on, okay? So we're just gonna use that as the guide and it's gonna have to, you can see right here, you've gotta go behind the camera, okay? So it's gonna kinda go up behind the camera and then we can use we can use the screws here, and you got to be careful because this is going to want to stick. Okay, so got to get it up in there, get it lined up with the screws. You put your screw in now. Okay, there's one. There's the other one. Okay. So now you notice I'm holding this back out here like this because I want to make sure this gets up there right where it belongs. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press it into place, just like so. Okay. And then you're going to press and hold it. Okay. And you can feel that it's sitting in there pretty darn tight, guys. It 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 feels good and it's not moving okay but 
to be able to hold it probably like my garage right now is probably about 75 degrees it's perfect perfect temperature if you're doing this in the cooler cooler time of the year which is when this video is going to be coming out um, you're going to probably want to use a heat gun or a hair dryer or something like that to heat heat it up just heat the the uh, sticky tape up a little bit and the, and the part and where you're hooking it onto the bumper and then that way pretty much assures that it will stick. Okay, so there you go. So that's it right there. So now we can go ahead and we can take our screws back out. And now we can go ahead and put our license plate back on. Okay, let me get all these that came off of here of that. And then we can put our license plate back on the car. I'll use my screw gun here. And then I'll get it, get it nice and leveled out here. Okay. That looks pretty darn good. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten those up now. Good. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my caps back on here. That's all there is to it. Take a look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? All right, guys, you saw just how easy it is to install one of these backing plates, and it looks awesome. The weave looks exactly like all of the other carbon fiber that's coming from Extreme Online Store, so it just all matches and it looks wonderful. So uh, guys, if you're in, in the market for being able to get any of these carbon fiber parts, um, be sure and look to Extreme Online Store. They'll be able to help you out. Um, you can also reach out to me. I am now become a dealer for Extreme Online Store and I can save you a little bit of money where they can't give you a discount. I can. So you guys can get a anywhere depending between a five and a 10% discount. So um, I should be able to get that for you, no, not a problem. And so just if there is a part that you're looking for on, this, on the website, reach out to me, tell me what it is. I'll be able to tell you what I can do for you and then we can get it drop shipped to you. So that's not a problem, okay? So anyway, if you need anything, any of this stuff installed that you've seen me install, feel free, reach out to me, I'll give you a quote, and I'm gonna put all of that information right here on the screen, okay? So um, we are uh, doing really well as far as the subscriptions. We've asked, uh, I've been asking you guys to subscribe and that's starting to work. And those of you that have subscribed to the channel in the past, thank you guys all, I appreciate it so much. Those of you that are maybe just watching this channel for the first time today, or you've been watching and you haven't hit subscribe, I would really appreciate that you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. And um, it just helps, those subscriptions just help the channel grow. It helps with the algorithms to, for all of you to be able to find us on YouTube, as well as when I go to manufacturers, trying to get them to sponsor the channel. They're way more amped to be able to do it because our subscription rate is higher. We have a little over 15,000 subscribers now, but we have over 100,000 viewers. So I'd love to be able to see those of you that are watching, hit the subscribe button. It will help me, it honestly will, and I'll be able to bring more to you. So um, I, I, I'm not gonna, not gonna go on a tangent about it. I just want, was hoping that you guys can help me out a little bit. So um, guys, it is a joy to be able to do this for you. Um, and I don't, I can't imagine not doing it anymore. It, it, it's, it's a lot of fun, it really is. So, uh, but anyway, enough of that. But guys, thank you guys for watching today and we'll catch you on the next one.